So it's time for another try some video. Today we have the jar of names. Put the jar of names down there, sorry. <laughs> Trying to get this done quickly. But hopefully, oh dear, I'm ruining my set. Right, anyway, let's, let's choose a let's choose a nice name. Go with this one. So this video is for everyone, including but not excluded to one second. A box of kittens seventy-seven. So that's the jar of names done. Okay, so this is another creating video. We've got we've done a lot of them. We've, this is episode twelve, so Clearly we like creating things. But yeah, this is another way to beat boredom, and you can do this yourself, although you will have to change the theme, or you can just do this however you want, just make sure you apply it to yourself. But this is a scrapbook, and this is not just any scrapbook, this is going to be my Let's Play scrapbook. So I have these little statues. I feel like I have to hold one, but I shouldn't really have to hold them. I'm going to get one anyway. There we go. I'll put, I'll, I wonder if I can get it on the screen. I can't really see the camera at the moment, but there's one of them. It's one of my pop figures. Is it on the screen? Yeah, it's on the screen. Those are the things I get from when I finish a Let's Play. So, at the moment, I've got uh, Assassin's Creed on there, Assassin's Creed 2. Got a few other things, I think, or is that it? I might be it, because I haven't got many. Uh, but I said I will try and do this for every game, but if I can't, I'm going to do a different way. And this is what that different way is. It's going to be my Let's Play scrapbook. Basically, when I finish a Let's Play, I'm going to add a page to this scrapbook dedicated to that one Let's Play. So, obviously, the first one will be Assassin's Creed, and we'll do the rest of them for the other games as well. But today, we're just going to be doing Assassin's Creed... The first game I did, and then maybe the others, maybe not, we'll see towards the end. But yes, so I think we should get into this then. So, shall we start off with what you're going to need? A scrapbook, some coloured card, some photos, some glue, some scissors, and some paper and a pencil. And like I said, this is what I'm using, so you can change this to whatever you want. Step one, collect all of your desired material and cut them all down to size. Uh, you can see here, I'm not actually using my scissors, because uh, you have to have a very steady hand when using scissors. I do not have one of those. Uh, so I'm using something called a guillotine. It's a very interesting contraption. It's not like the French Revolution thing. It's similar, but not quite the same. Uh, you, you know, you put your, your paper through the end, and then you just move the blade across, and it cuts it. And it's very easier. Easy, very easier. That's not even the English language. Ugh. It's easier than using scissors, because it's more precise. But I'm pretty sure not everyone has a guillotine. So scissors it is. Step two, stick down some card for the background. Right, so here's my scrapbook. You can see there's like two different, there's like a bit here with a hole in it, and there's like a fluffy bit there. Uh, I'm gonna do something with that in a second, but I'll leave that towards the, towards the end. So here is page number one. This is going to be dedicated to... Sorry, I had to look at the camera, I have to go away from the microphone. Yes, so this is going to be dedicated to Assassin's Creed 1 when I first finished that one. So I've got my card that I've cut down, I've taken off uh, a centimetre from the sides. So I suppose what I did is took two centimetres off the top here, two centimetres off the top, oh, the side there. So that's what I did. Uh, right, so now what I need to do is I need to stick it down, so I'm happy with that. So now it's time to stick it down. Step three, attach any desired material to some more card. Right, by this I mean, I've got a bit of white card here. Now I'm going to attach it to a bit of black card, and I'm going to stick that down the corner there. Can you see on the camera? Slightly, you can just see on the camera. Yeah, but that's what I'm going to do. I've done, obviously, this piece of card here, which... I will flip it over, and I've done all the dates. Yeah, I've written down when Assassin's Creed... Hold on a sec. Yes, yeah, so I've written down how long it lasted. So you can see on here it says... The 4th of the 8th, 2014, to the 26th of the 9th, 2014. That was my first Let's Play I did. That was so long ago. Wow. And the other one I've got is... Is the Assassin's Creed actual logo, which I'm going to put at the top corner, so let's put that down now. Let's move this down a bit. So that's going to go at the top here. So you see it's going to be like at the two opposite corners with these two things stuck down. Right, so there we go. So we've got the logo of the game and the date. Let's stick them down. Step four, arrange the remaining material and stick it on down. Right, so here is what the what I'm actually going to do with this scrapbook. So I've got two things here, the photos you saw at the beginning. These are of certain memories that people have had. I did a video asking people for their memories and uh, quite a few of you actually generously actually gave me your memories. You gave them to me like you were giving me some money, but there we go. You gave them to me, so there we are. Those are the two memories there. Can you see them on the camera very well? Yeah, you can't quite see them on camera too bad. I'll show them probably closer up in an extra clip that you'll see, obviously, you know, while I'm talking. But yeah, those are two pictures. The pictures are uh, one of a shadow from Assassin's Creed 1, my horse, and uh, one of me killing Robert de Sable. Right, okay, but now what I've got next. The thing, these, two are, these two are linked to the photos. 
Right, so I'll obviously show them off in there. Right, so the next thing are uh, some things that are actually linked to these pictures that I've got. Uh, they are the comments that actually said about these different memories. Right, so I've got two here. I want to link to obviously the photos. The first one is from Nick Pro. And uh, obviously, you can see it on the screen now. It says, Oh, I really liked Shadow in AC2 and AC1. So, obviously, AC1 is this one. So, we'll stick that down there next to the actual photo that it says. So, obviously, that one's linked to that one. They are quite small. Uh, especially this next one because it was obviously it was a larger comment, but uh, I, may, I might have to redo these again. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes. But I can still read them, which is the main point. So yeah, we've got that one down at the top there. And the next one is from 40k Warrior Man. He says, "All right, let's get this underway, shall we?" He says, "The good night bits still dark, but I accepted them now." Yes. So obviously in AC1, whenever I killed a boss, I sort of said, "Good night, sleep tight," whatever your name was. So uh, I thought I'll get a picture of that guy dying or being assassinated. And then I'll put that one there next to that one. There we are. So that's the two comments with the two pictures. And there was a lot of another thing. I didn't know if I was going to do this or not. I'm still on the fence about it, but I think I think it looks kind of all right. Maybe uh, I usually do these. I usually like draw things from the actual let's plays and like add them to my file so I can sort of like remember what sort of characters I made so I can go back to them another play another times. But uh, what I've done is I've done some little sketches of some of the things. So you see here, I've done a picture of a, an eagle because in Assassin's Creed One, little Tommy was eagle was the eagle. So I've drawn an eagle and I've done a little, like, little text box as well with it. And that should go at the top just there. Right. So there we are. That is one page of the scrapbook done. Uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I, th I think I can get behind that. Yeah, that's all right. And obviously I've got to do this now for the rest of the games. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I think I can stick that down now and that'd be good. Yeah, that looks all right. It looks a little bit crazy. But that's kind of the thing I'm looking for. Like, I'm not looking for tidy. I'm looking for a little bit of a... You know, like all stuck together sort of thing. I like that. I think I, I think I quite like it. Maybe it'll probably look good when I've done it all as well. But yeah, that is it then. Good. So I think that's done, is it? Now I'm not quite done yet. There's still one more thing left I want to do. Uh, now because every book deserves a title page, I have done something for the title page. Now this is what I've taken. I've taken a picture, and this is the picture I've taken. So you can see it's a game controller with Let's Play Memories, because that's what this book is for. Right, so I'll do that, and now we're going to stick it down. Now, on this page here that I said about earlier... I am recording, right? I am recording, good. Uh, I said about these, the, like the squarey bit on this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down on the page. I made some little marks where it needs to be stuck down. So there we go. You can stick that down there. That should be fine. Oop, my hands are sticky. Good, right, there we go. So now if we close the book, it should match up. Not quite quite good enough but it's close enough can move it down a bit that would be perfect now let's do this yeah there we go that's that's pretty good that works that fits so there we are that is the title page there now then i don't know if you can see you can't see good so that's where it says so let's play memories is my little photo and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick this bit to here i don't know if you can see to the actual the other bit so that it will stay there forever now Good, right, let's do that. So there we are, that is uh, my sketchbook, sketchbook, <laughs> scrapbook completed. Yeah, so I like the little front bit where it's got the, the list playing memories. If you open it up, it's got all the things inside. Like it's got the logo, the little sketch, and obviously the comments, and then the photos that go with the comments, and the dates where it was running from as well. Good, I'm happy with that. So this is going to get updated as time goes on. Like when I finish games, I'm going to put it on there. And uh, like I said, this is going to replace some of the trophies. Well, I obviously can't get a statue for every game. So when I can't, at least it'll get a special place in this book, which is fantastic. And obviously it's nice as well because some people get immortalised in the uh, book with having their comments in there. There are a lot of 40k Roy Man comments and uh, Nick Pro comments in this because those guys, you, you gave me a lot of memories. Like 40k Roy Man, for example, gave me every single game I did, which was fantastic. Thank you very much. That's why you're in it quite a lot. But yeah, uh, so obviously... Maybe when it time comes, I'll add a video saying, like, oh, I need your memories if you've got them. Or I'll just take them directly from comments that have all been posted on episodes. But we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yes, I will do this when I, when I complete a game. I'll add another book and uh, I'll add another page. And then I may do another video, like an update video. Maybe something like that. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. But yeah, so like I said, you can do this yourself. you just got to apply it to yourself. Maybe it can be photos of you as a kid, like when you were one, when you were two, maybe you when you were three. I'm not sure, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. But yes, what else have we got to say? Is that it? I think it is, yes. But this was one way to beat boredom. Now I've got to finish my cup of tea. It's been with me all the time now. Ah, there we go. Right, okay, that's my scrapbook done. Thanks for the memories. And until the next time we meet, goodbye. <laughs>